Hey everyone, welcome. How are y'all doing today? I hope everybody's safe and well. Thank you so much for joining me. Well, I'm going to be reading the book of Galatians chapter 3 today, but before I do that, I'd like to start off with afternoon tea, a prayer, and a song. All right, y'all go get your tea and sip with me. Let's get into these tea and treats. Uh, today I'm drinking Tezo Wild Sweet Orange Tea. And to pair with that, I have these cake bites, and this is classic Italian rainbow. All right, the benefits of this wild sweet orange tea is that it prevents high cholesterol, high blood pressure, and strokes, and it also is beneficial to the heart. Dear Gracious Heavenly Father, I thank you for this drink and food, for the health and nourishment of my body, for Christ's sake. And I ask that your Holy Spirit fill me with wisdom and understanding as I am refreshed by your word. In Jesus' precious name I pray. Amen. All right, y'all please agree with me in prayer. Father God, I bless your holy name, Lord. Thank you for this life that you have given us. Help us to walk and move by faith. Lead us and guide us in spirit and in truth. I stand in the gap for my brothers and sisters in Christ, Father. I claim your promise in Jeremiah 17, 14, which says, Heal me, Lord, and I will be healed. Save me, and I will be saved, for you are the one I praise. I lift up to you the individuals on the street, all who are struggling out there and feel like they are defeated. I ask that you reveal yourself to them and allow them to focus on you, Lord. I ask that you deliver them from any fear and doubt that the enemy is trying to come against them. Remove it all, Lord and replace it with peace and unwavering faith, Abba Father. The faith where they know and they are assured that you have great plans for them, Lord. Help us to run people to you, Lord, when we minister to them. I lift up to you vlogs by Bud. I thank you that the spots on his lungs aren't any bigger and I ask you to remove the ones that are there. Any pain that he's feeling in his body now, Lord, I pray that it would begin to subside I pray that you would send your angels to watch over him and care for him. I lift up to you Nazia Sajid. I pray for her brother Robert who is experiencing internal difficulties and lower back problems. I ask that you supply every single need that her brother has and touch and heal what's not of you, God. Ease the discomfort now in Jesus' name. I pray for all the leaders around the world, Lord, those in authority, that you would guide them, Lord, deliver them from stress and anxiety, Make changes to the ones who have ill intentions and replace them with leaders who follow after you, Lord, and your will for their life. Allow leaders to rise up that will be that light for you, Father God. I lift up to you the children and families and nations around the world in countries where there is violence and protests going on, Cuba, Israel, Pakistan, India. I pray that whatever is fueling the unrest that the people would know that you are still in control, Father God. I ask that you would protect, lead, and guide the individuals there. Be with them. Give them comfort where there is fear. Be their safety and strong tower during these last days. Heal the injured that have been attacked, God. I pray for the students kidnapped in Nigeria. I pray that you would lead rescuers to the lost. I pray for all of the families of the students taken, God. Send your angels of protection to be with them and surround them. I lift up to you the weak. I pray that you would comfort them and send your angels to stand guard around them to minister a word to them. Put people in their lives that would build them up and not tear them down. I ask that you would release healing to their minds, Lord. I pray that you would call them forth and allow what they are going through to be of help to others who are going through some things. Situations where they feel like there is no way, Lord. Show them the way. I have lifted up to you the prayer team. I decree and declare victory in their lives. I break all unholy curses that have been set out by the enemy on their life right now, God. I pray that no weapon formed against them shall prosper. 
I pray that you would loose any stronghold holding them down, Lord. Allow them to complete the work that you have begun in them. I ask that your spirit would move with them when they begin to open their mouth to pray and that the heavens would begin to move on their behalf of the ones that they are praying for. I pray for great faith in all of us, Lord, and that you would continue to strengthen us in a mighty way. Allow our focus to be on you and only you, Lord. I trust in your will, God. I plead and seal this prayer with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name I pray, amen. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. To see you high and lifted up. Shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love as we sing holy, holy, holy. I want to see you. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. Cause I want to see you. To see you high and lifted up. Shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love. As we sing holy, 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 I want to see you. I want to see you. All right, let's get started on the reading. You guys can go get your Bibles and follow along with me, but I will have the words to the reading in the video and please stick around till after the reading because I will have a video for anyone to click on who would like to accept Jesus Christ into their heart as personal Lord and Savior and you guys can click on that video repeat the prayer after me if you would like to make that decision for yourself all right from the King James Version the Word of God reads in Galatians chapter 3. O foolish Galatians, who hath bewitched you, that ye should not obey the truth, before whose eyes Jesus Christ had been evidently set forth, crucified among you? This only would I learn of you, receive ye the Spirit by the works of the law, or by the hearing of faith. Are ye so foolish, having begun in the Spirit, are ye now made perfect by the flesh? Have ye suffered so many things in vain? If it be yet in vain, he therefore that ministereth to you the Spirit, and worketh miracles among you, doeth he it by the works of the law, or by the hearing of faith? Even as Abraham believed God, and it was accounted to him for righteousness, know ye therefore that which are of faith, the same are the children of Abraham. In the scripture, foreseeing that God would justify the heathen through faith, preached before the gospel unto Abraham, saying, In thee shall all nations be blessed. So then they which be of faith are blessed with faithful Abraham. For as many as are of the works of the law are under the curse. For it is written, Cursed is everyone that continueth 
not in all things which are written in the book of the law to do them, but that no man is justified by the law in the sight of God. It is evident, for the just shall live by faith, but the man that doeth them shall live in them. Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is every one that hangeth on a tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Brethren, I speak after the manner of men, though it be but a man's covenant, yet if it be confirmed, no man disannulleth or addeth thereto. Now to Abraham and his seed were the promises made, he saith not, and to seeds, as of many, but as of one, and to thy seed, which is Christ. And this I say, that the covenant that was confirmed before of God in Christ, the law, which was 430 years after, cannot disannul, that it should make the promise of none effect. For if the inheritance of the law, it is no more of promise, but God gave it to Abraham by promise. Wherefore then serveth the law? It was added because of transgressions, till the seed should come to whom the promise was made. And it was ordained by the angels in the hand of a mediator. Now a mediator is not a mediator of one, but God is one. Is the law then against the promises of God? God forbid, for if there had been a law given, which could have given life. Verily, righteousness should have been by the law. But the scripture hath concluded all under sin, that the promise by faith of Jesus Christ might be given to them that believe. But before faith came, we were kept under the law, shut up unto the faith which should afterwards be revealed. Wherefore the law was our schoolmaster to bring us unto Christ, that we might be justified by faith. But after that faith is come, we are no longer under a schoolmaster. For ye are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. For as many of you as have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female. For ye are all one in Christ Jesus. And if ye be in Christ, then ye are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. Glory be to God. God is good. Well, I certainly hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. And I don't want to end it without giving anyone an opportunity to accept Jesus Christ into their heart as personal Lord and Savior. And making him Lord over your life. Remember, it's the belief in the prayer which saves you in. It's all about that personal relationship with God. And even if you are already saved and just want to rededicate your life back to Christ and say, you know, Lord, I've messed up and done some things wrong and I just want to make things right with you. You can repeat this prayer after me. Please click on this salvation prayer video, repeat the prayer after me and message me so we can discuss the steps you should take to grow in your faith and walk with the Lord. And remember to hit that notification bell, share, comment, like, and subscribe to Time with Tiffy. Join a membership if you'd like. Y'all have a blessed day, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Until next time.